Leave Steven alone! <laughs> Good evening. This is the first of our lecture series on Stephen. Leave Stephen alone! <laughs> we begin in Acts chapter 7, where Stephen had been proclaiming the gospel in the temple where it had been declared illegal. Leave Stephen alone! <laughs> As the Pharisees and Sadducees were interrogating Stephen, he began to preach. He shared the entire history of Israel from memory, speaking to the people of God about the love and continued desired relationship of God with his people. And then he revealed something big. The true tabernacle of God, the true place where God has always wanted to live is not in a campfire or above a box, but has always been in our hearts. He said it here. You stiff-necked people with uncircumcised hearts and ears. Remember, uncircumcised just means uncommitted, unself-sacrificial. Circumcised being the, 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 the process of absolute commitment to God. You always resist the Holy Spirit, the teaching influence of God. Your ancestors did, and you do also. Which of these prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They even killed those who foretold the coming of the righteous one. The righteous one is Jesus. Whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. These are the very same people that were guilty of crucifying Jesus. You received the law, that's the Old Testament, especially the like first five books of the Bible. You received the law under, under the directions of angels, and yet you have not kept it. You kept, in this case, being a, a sense of obeyed it, listened to it, done what it's teaching. Okay? When they, being the court of the the Jerusalem, they heard these things, they became enraged. They gnashed their teeth at him. Stephen, fully, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven. He saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand. He said, look, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Leave Stephen alone! <laughs> they yelled at the top of their voices, covered their ears, and together rushed against him. Leave Stephen alone! <laughs> they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their garments at the feet of a young man. Leave Stephen alone! <laughs> that young man's name was Saul. Leave Stephen alone! <laughs> While they were killing Stephen, he called out, this is Stephen, called out, Leave Stephen alone! <laughs> no, not that. Pay attention. He said, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Leave Stephen alone! <laughs>